Hi guys, welcome along. My name is Stephen and today we're going to be running through a high-low routine for you and uh, this routine perhaps would be perhaps an intermediate level two uh, standard of class and the idea behind today's uh, block of choreography is to show you the options of using spins with or without. So the idea here is that you can encompass all of your class, those that perhaps don't want to do the turns or the spins can keep up quite easily with your choreography uh, and, and everyone can move together safely and in the same direction. So enjoy this one and let's get started. We're just going to begin with just a simple march up on the right leg and we're going to have, of course as always lay it into our progressions as we go. So let's start with a step touch. Now. Arms are going to go out to the side. And we're going to make sure we keep nice straight posture. So lift tall and get that oxygen coming in and out of the body. Let's move on from there. You get two steps to the right. So one and two, and then two steps back again. Now really simple here. We're just going to turn that into a grapevine. So cross your back leg behind and then step together. All right. Now, just give me a couple more grapevines. Now stay here and do a single leg curl. How about eight? Now, arms are going to go forward and we're going to lift the heels right up towards your butt. Okay, back to the top. Great fine again. Now, let's cut it down. Single curl here. I'm looking for four. Great fine again. Now, what I've done for today, just for filming purposes, is I'm going to cut the layers and the repetitions down a little bit so we can move through the choreography. Single curl. Now one more practice of that, and then just single curl. I'm going to add some rhythm into those two grapevines. Let's have a look. Chasse across, and then pick up the four leg curls. All right, well done. Try that again. Chasse across, chasse back, and then four leg curls. Now can we cut that in half? Just do your chasse. Now do two leg curls here. Chasse back, two leg curls again. Nice. Now. You're going to have to really be on your cueing to get these two leg curls in because you'll find that your students will want to go straight back into that chasse. One more. Okay, let's add on some choreography. Chasse across, two leg curls, chasse back. Now, I'm looking for eight marches. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, and five. And a four near repeater. Nice, do that again, eight marches. Eight, seven, six, and five. So this is template two, and we're gonna add this on to the chasse. Let's go. Two leg curls. Chasse again, two leg curls. Now drop in those eight marches. And then we'll finish with the repeat of four. Nice, back to the chasse. You're now on your left leg. Two curls, chasse across. Lovely, drop in the eight marches eight, seven, six, and five, and finish with the four knee repeater. All right, let's see what we can do with those eight marches. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of direction, step behind, step behind, and then the four knees to finish. All right, chasse across, two curls, chasse back. Now add the new move in, cross behind. Sometimes you may call this a baby mumbo. Let's go, one more practice, chasse over, two curls, and chasse back. Two curls, now baby mumbo, or cross behind, and finish with a four knee repeater. Now, one more practice on the left, because we'll wait till we get to the right leg before we start adding in the direction. Cross behind, four knee repeater. All right, let's have a look what I'm gonna do with the leg curls. This time, I wanna make it a backward curl, go straight into that chasse. Backward curl, now we cross behind. Four knee repeater. Now you're gonna to have to be quite clever and quite on your cueing to get them. You wanna pull that left arm to the back, chasse over, now pull the right arm to the back and step into the cross behind. And that way, you set up the direction for which your students need to turn. Let's go, here we are, chasse, backward curl. Right arm turns to the back, chasse over, left arm pulls to the back, now cross behind. There's one more option for a turn and it's gonna be after that cross behind. So let's have a look at that now. So, 
cross behind. Now, if you like, set the momentum up and add just a little pirouette into the Fournier repeater. Last one here before we finish up. Chasse across. Now, cross behind, cross behind. Add the pirouette if you wish and finish with the Fournier repeater. All right, march on the spot there.